Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, Multiplex Movie Melee. We got ourselves a trios match here today. We got ourselves another installment of our uh, round rob uh, of our round robin tournament here in the first round. Uh, we got the number five seed, na naming themselves the German Three, which uh, comprised of Matt Quaylar, Mike Hanley, and Kirk Kalikowski. And they are playing the number 12 seed of Protect Ya Neck, which is comprised of Dylan Van Dyne, Jordan Owens, and Amu, uh, Amaru Moses. So, I think we got ourselves a good one. I mean, like, I think kind of much like uh, all of our trios matches here, you know, we have just, we just kind of have a grab bag of a bunch of people, kind of some similar, but at the same time, they all kind of complement each other well. It's very cool. I'm really glad we're doing this. Uh, let's just get right into it, and we'll bring in our first team, which is will be our number 12 seed, Protect Your Neck. So, Dylan, Amadou, as well as uh, Jordan. Where is he? There he is. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what up, yeah, what's up? How y'all feeling? I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, it should be a good time. Look, uh, I, I'm really excited about this because uh, with the randomizer, it was fun because it got to pair me up with some people that I haven't gotten to team up with before. So it should be an interesting uh, experience. I'm excited to see how Jordan and Amaru and I uh, collaborate as a team. Should be a good time. I mean, we're the three sexiest in the league, so it just makes sense that we ended up being paired together. So let's do this. Yeah. Protect your neck. That's all yes. I need to say. <laughs> okay, I heard sure. earlier, though. <laughs> Short and concise. I'll bring in your competitors, the number five seed, the German three, which is Kirk. Here's Mike, Mr. DVD. Casual Chaos, Matt Quaylor. Guys, how you doing? Look, we're already at a disadvantage because Mark doesn't have his guns out. Anytime this motherfucker <laughs> doesn't have his guns out, I play bad. I blame this on you, Mark. Roll them sleeves up, Mark. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Give, give no, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, like uh, Dylan said, um, I've hung out with Matt and Mike a lot. I've never teamed with them before, so I'm excited to do that. I think we call each other well. Matt is a great player. I think he's one of the all-time greats in multiplex. Matt is a fountain of trivia and, uh, knowledge and information and movie knowledge. And here's the thing about uh, Mike that you guys are going to learn. Mike is a very serious trivia, trivia player. Nazario is a terrible influence on this guy. It's always about clowning around and having a good time. With the three of us, it's all business. We're going to get this done. Yeah, I like it. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, wrong wow, I, was, I was expecting a little bit more here, but you know what? Uh, let's, just, uh, let's, just, let's just go ahead and get started. In uh, round number one, which is still like every round number one you guys have ever done. You get eight questions in eight general movie categories. At 15 seconds, to write the write the answer down on the whiteboard. At the end of that time, we'll ask you to show and verbalize your answer. Get a point for each correct answer. And if any of you uh, guys get uh, all eight correct, you're going to get a bonus question also worth a point. And also get three repeats and challenge used throughout the match at your disposal. Uh, anything else before we get going? Why do I have that every time? It's always... <laughs> I guess not. Okay. It started in uh, your first question. Category of Westerns. Name two of the three films in the Sergi in, in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy. Let's create that up. Should have just thought the writer here was setting me up for failure or the way it was written, but he is act there is actually fine. I don't know why you know I try to ad lib this. It was really silly of me. Um, so I'll just pad extra time for, you know, reasons, but let's go ahead. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Okay. Let's just start with Matt. For a few dollars more and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Uh, Dylan. The good, the bad, and the ugly, and for a few dollars more. Mike. I got fucked up. Fistful of dollars, the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I said a few fistful of dollars and a few dollars more. I did mess that up. Okay. And uh, Kirk. 
Amara, that's exactly why I didn't write that movie down. Um, a Fistful of Dollars and The Good, The Bad, and The Other. <coughs> and Jordan. No, the guy really fucked up. Uh, the Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and What's One Time in the West. Okay. Uh, yeah, the correct answers were uh, A Fistful of Dollars, For A Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So uh, we cannot accept a, um, a few dollars more. i sorry, whatever. Uh, you wrote off. I'm going to admit, which uh, means uh, German 3 is taking the lead uh, 3 to 1. Going to your next question in the category of action adventure. What is the snake based nickname of Beatrix Kiddo in the Kill Bill films? It always seems like a popular movie to bring up in you know, our community and honestly very popular just judging on, you know, a team's name here. Yeah. You know? Two, one, pens down. Uh, yeah, Dylan. Black Mamba. Okay, uh, Mike. I had Viper. Okay, uh, Rue. Black Mamba. Okay, and Kirk. The Black Mamba. Okay, Jordan. Black Mamba. And Matt. Black Mamba. Black Mamba is correct. Um, yeah, uh, uh, protect the neck, uh, closing the gap, uh, five to four there. Going to the next question, category of sci-fi fantasy. Alex Proyas uh, directed William Hurt and Jennifer Connelly in what 1998 sci-fi film? Proyas? I don't like that guy's name. Like the weird name. I don't like, you know, never sounds right coming out of my mouth. You know, just, uh, you know, like lemonade. Yeah. You know, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, yeah, we're at Mike. Dark City. Okay. Uh, Rue. Said Labyrinth. Okay. Kirk. Dark City. Hey, Jordan. Dark City. Okay, uh, Matt. Dark City. And Dylan. Dark City. Dark City is correct. Uh, German 3 maintain lead uh, 8 to 6. Uh, with uh, Matt, Kirk, and Dylan still remaining perfect, going into your fourth question in the ca category comedy. Who plays Jake's vengeful ex fiance in The Blues Brothers? I've never actually seen this movie all the way through. You know, it's one of the yeah, everybody talked about it. Everybody seems to like it. You know, it's like, you know, I just, you know, just, you know, don't really feel like it, you know? Just guys in hats, you know? Uh, five, four. <laughs> Arcade three, the blues. Two, okay. One. <laughs> pens down. And, uh, yeah, Brew. I don't know. Student Sarandon. All right. Kirk. Carrie Fisher. Okay. Jordan. Carrie Fisher. Matt. Carrie Fisher. And Dylan. I never felt like watching this either. I put Goldie Hawn. And, and Mike. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher is correct. Uh, uh, German 3 uh, expanded lead uh, 11 to 7. Going into your next question, the category recent releases. What is the full name that Kate McKinnon's character goes by in Barbie? Oh, fuck. Another movie that, you know, it's maybe sparked controversy in this. Maybe not sparked controversy. You know, some people seem to like it. Some people don't. I don't know if this has any diehards here. Uh, I'm honestly not totally sure. You know, I guess you can at me. I don't know if I ever don't give a shit. Uh, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, I believe we're Kirk. Is it Weird Barbie? Okay, Jordan. Weird Barbie? Hey, Matt. Weird Barbie? Dylan. Weird Barbie. Mike. Didn't have anything. And, uh, yeah, Rue. Weird Barbie. Hey. Weird Barbie is correct. Uh, so we're at the 13 to 10 uh, 
still German Three's advantage going into your next question, the category of romantic comedies. What is the profession of Woody Allen's character in Manhattan? If uh, that guy. And what's his job in that movie? Does that count as a repeat? I don't know. <laughs> repeat. <laughs> All this dot one. Four, three, two, one. Head down. Uh, yeah. It, uh... Okay, and uh, we're at Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Sit writer. Okay. Uh, Matt. I also said writer. <clears throat> Joy. Writer. Okay. Uh, Mike. Rider. Okay, and Rue. I said a banker. And Kirk. I also said Rider. Fuck. Uh, Rider is correct. All right, uh, with that, got the German three still had a, a 16 to 12. Uh, going into your penultimate question, the category in animation. In My Neighbor Totoro. Why specifically are Satsuki and Mei moving to a new house with their dad? This film. Fine. Yeah. Some people really like it. Yeah. It's not like one of my favorite Ghibli movies, but it's a perfectly okay. You know? Nice time. Yeah. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, where it Matt? Uh, I believe there's a gremlin infestation in their old town. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> their mother is in the hospital. Okay, uh, Mike. The dad got a divorce. Okay, uh, Rue. I said their mom died. Okay, Kirk. I hope this counts. I said to be closer to their sick mom. Okay, uh, Jordan. Right, so the last house burnt down. Okay. Uh, their mo- I have their moms in the hospital. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Ex- no? No, okay. Okay, I'm, ge- I'm getting a no for uh, be closer to their sick mother. So, Do, do uh, we want to challenge that, guys? Because I'm pretty sure that's why they move, because the mom's in the hospital and they move there to be closer. I mean, yeah. Is it worth, is it worth yeah. the point? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Go for okay. it. Okay, throw the challenge flag. Okay, we'll be right back after this challenge. <laughs> Is that a challenge? All right, we're back after that challenge. Um, yeah, uh, they are they are moving to a new house to be closer to the mother who's uh, who's sick in the hospital. So uh, uh, we have decided to uh, reward Kirk the point for uh, for that question, uh, which means uh, German three get, and they also are going to retain the challenge. Uh, obviously, uh, it means German three up to seventeen. Uh, protect your neck up to 13. And uh, also with that, final question around. And Kirk, still remaining perfect. So if he gets it, he will get a Thanks, bonus Mark. question. <laughs> final question. Category of Oscars. Who won Best Director for films released in 1994? Sorry, but I got to do this. There are six people here. I have to keep track of how, like it's just gonna be chaos. It was chaos the first time I was here. I almost I almost lost my mind. Good thing Dylan was here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pen down. Yeah, I might as well start with him last for dramatic effect. Uh, let's go to Jordan. Uh, Robert Zemeckis. Okay, uh, Matt. Robert Zemeckis. Okay, uh, Dylan. Bobby Z. Robert Zemeckis. <laughs> Uh, Mike. Robert Zemeckis. Okay. Rue. Robert Zemeckis. And for the purple ground, Kirk. Robert Zemeckis. Bobby Z. Robert Zemeckis <laughs> is correct. Kirk is the perfect ground on that one, which means you will receive a bonus question only to him, so you do not need to use your whiteboard. And uh, this is also for a point. So, Kirk, bonus question. Only to you, which is name both actors 
who played the title character in both versions of the Heartbreak Kid. Which one is that? Five, four, three. Barbara Streisand and Richard Dreyfus. That is incorrect. Uh, we're looking for Ben Stiller and Charles Grodin. Oh, as well. I was in a different movie. Or Shawn Michaels. That also would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, with that, um, German 3 still had got him here at 20. Protect your neck at 16. Good and with that, go into the wheel round, in which uh, both our teams will get a chance to spin our wheel. Uh, they like what they spin on the first time. They can keep it. If not, they can elect to spin again, but they must keep what they like. They must answer from whatever they land on the second time. They get five questions. Whatever category they land on, worth two points apiece, or they can check down to multiple choice for one point apiece. Uh, there is stealing, so both teams, please watch your asses. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, the categories that they can uh, spin on today are 1980 to 2000 crime films and the 1980 selected by the German Three, and uh, Pixar recent releases selected by Protect Your Neck, as well as crime, scores and soundtracks, action adventure, sci-fi fantasy, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Uh, German three, you are ahead, so uh, it's uh, up to you whether you want to spin first or, de or defer. I think it's kind of borderline right now, but I think we're. I think I'd let, like to let them go first. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Yeah, okay, that. we will defer. Okay, in that case, protect your neck. This is your first spin. <clears throat> And you will land on, look at that, Spinner's Choice. You guys want to keep this or spin again? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should keep this. Yeah, uh, sure. yeah. yeah uh, we'll, we'll keep this one. Do we uh, want to go recent releases? Yeah, I think we could. Uh, yeah, I think it would be best if we left that. That's, That's where I lean towards, but I'm happy to, yeah. you know, join you guys and piggyback off you. So whatever you guys want. All right. Rue, if you think, do you think if we took Pixar, you could go 10 for 10? <laughs> Um, exactly. Maybe, yeah. I, I could, I could, um, I could go a lot. I don't know if ten for ten. It's just between y'all. But I think recent releases is going to be easier if, if y'all feel. Yeah, comfortable I mean, with it. just from filming some of the matches, I know the questions haven't been super deep for the general categories. So I'd say let's just go recent releases. Yeah, let's go recent releases. <laughs> okay. You got it. Let's uh, take away the wheel, and you guessed it. I'm going to be giving your questions in <laughs> recent releases. Yeah. Uh, the first question. Where did Gracie and Joe both work where they ultimately had their affair 23 years ago in May, December? It is a pet store. Yes, it is. Yeah. A pet store, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Who plays the host of the anthology series in Asteroid City? Oh, that's uh, Brian Cranston. I did not yeah. see that film. Yeah, Guess he's, he's like the narrator. The guy, yeah. Go yeah. On. <laughs> Brian like, Cranston. Most I can think of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go take it. It's got to be him. Uh, Brian Cranston. Final answer. That is correct for another two points. Going to your next question. In bottoms, student athlete Jeff plays what sport? Football, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody else, no other sports. Uh, yeah. fo football, final answer. That is correct for another two points. Your penultimate question. Laura and Sun take place primarily in what European city? Uh, this Laura is, and this Sun? Flora and Sun with Joseph Laura and Levitt. And oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't seen it in that location, so it's like double whammy. I haven't seen it either. I don't know that one. I think Four, we should go to multiple. Three. Yeah. Multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A, London, B, Glasgow, or Glasgow, B, Glasgow, uh, C, Liverpool, D, Dublin. So hmm. I, I had a thought that um, it had a connection with Dublin. That's Ireland, right? Yeah, Flora sounds like it could be an Irish name. Yeah, that's that. That was my like guess. That I had yeah, 
Dublin three. The best Dub- name I can think of. Go Dublin first. final answer. <laughs> Dublin is correct for one okay. point. <laughs> and uh, your final question in the category. In Silent Night, what specifically causes good luck? Or what specifically causes Godlock to lose his ability to speak? I didn't see this one. He is um he's shot in the throat. Okay. Go for it, yeah, he shot in the he he shot in the throat. Final answer. That is correct for nice. another Good two job. points. Uh, protect your neck, getting the score up to twenty five. Uh, uh, German is still at twenty, <clears throat> and uh, we'll bring back up the wheel. And uh, this will be their first spin. Yeah. There wow. you go. <laughs> uh, you land on 1980 to 2000 crime films. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Uh, I mean, it's a strength. It's going to be strength level, but yeah. I think where we're at, I think we can get the points we need. Yeah, I agree. You good with yeah. that? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want us to spin again and get something we don't like. So Yeah. 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 All right. We'll take it. Uh, we'll keep it. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, <laughs> so here is your first question. 1980 to 2000 crime films. What U.S. state is Clarice from, a fact she tries to hide in The Silence of the Lambs? It's it's Southern. It's like... Uh... No. I mean, I'm, I'd am i probably be able to narrow it down on multiple. Yeah. You guys go with that? Let's go multiple. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Kentucky, B, Alabama, C, West Virginia, or D, Arkansas? Hmm. I think it's either... Um... What are you thinking, Matt? I mean, honestly, those all sound good. Five. Yeah. Four. Are you okay if I go for it? Yeah, go for yeah, it. West Virginia, that. final answer. West Virginia is correct for one. Nice. Good job. Good shit, man. Your next question. In 1981's Thief, after being released from prison, Frank runs a bar and what other type of business? It's a it's a car dealership block. Okay. Car, car dealership. dealership. Final answer. Yep. That is correct for two points. Your next question. In which crime film will you find the TV show Badge of Honor? That sounds so familiar. The only thing that pops up in my head, and not even sure if it's clue, is that 15 minutes movie. Right. But no, that's 2000s. Uh, multiple, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Yeah. Multiple choice options are A, LA Confidential, mm. B, Donnie Brasco, C, Scarface, or D, Pulp Fiction. You guys okay if we take a repeat? Yeah, let's yeah. take a repeat. All right. A repeat of the whole thing? Yeah, the yeah. whole question, yeah. Okay. All right, that is your first repeat. Uh, your question again. In which crime film will you find the TV show Badge of Honor? And your multiple choice options are A, L.A. Confidential, B, Donnie Brasco, C, Scarface, or D, Pulp Fiction? This is the third question, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Purple is the only movie I'm not familiar, really strongly familiar with, and I don't recognize it from the other ones. Yeah, I'm thinking it's purple as well. Okay. Five. Yeah, we can go with it. Yeah, Four. let's go with A, final answer. Damn. A, LA Confidential is correct yeah. for one point. I wasn't sure if they had TV shows on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought it was a paper too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, and then your penultimate question category. At the end of Gross Point Blank, Martin kills fellow hitman Grocer by hitting him on the head with what? Good bet. It's a television. Final answer. Lock it. Yep. That is correct for two points. And uh, your final question of the category. In what 90s crime film does a 12-year-old drug courier play chess in the park? I believe that- that's uh, Fresh. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Yes. Okay. Fresh, final answer. 
Fuck. That is correct. Well done, guys. Well done. Point. Uh, that uh, German three gets a score up to twenty eight. Uh, believe uh, yeah, both teams getting uh, clean sweeps in uh, the categories they landed on. Um, and uh, yeah, twenty eight to twenty five. A uh, score going in round number three, in which is our new pick your poison round, in which our competitor, which both teams have uh, drafted from our list of general categories of what they like to answer from the match. And now they will draft from those categories again to determine what they will answer in round number three. <laughs> Double draft. Uh, yeah, um, once, uh, once category is picked, uh, their opponent cannot uh, answer from that category. They'll get uh, four questions, which are worth uh, one, two, three, and four points. Uh, the categories our competitors can select from today are directors, 1980s, recent releases, 1990s, sci-fi fantasy, horror, comic book movies, and crime. Um, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, pick some of those categories, and you know, hopefully we can finish the shit out. All right, uh, we're back. Our uh, competitors have uh, drafted from uh, the categories again. Um, we will start uh, with the team that is behind. Uh, out. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I was like, what the fuck? What did I, what did I say? Like, okay. Backstage. Not randomized. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the team that, that's behind. We'll go until we're out of questions or one team has been mathematically eliminated. And uh, just a reminder that uh, uh, every uh, teammate can uh, contribute on all four questions. So that's how we're going to do it. And to protect your neck is behind. We will start with them. Uh, what would you guys like for your one point question? Sick of sci fi. Sure. Yeah. yeah sci fi cool. fantasy. All right. Sci fi fantasy. And we have uh, all three repeats, fellas. Okay. That's great. And uh, German yeah. three down to two. So here you go. Your one point question. Albert Finney plays the older version of Ewan McGregor in what fantasy film? Big Fish. Yeah. Big Fish. Big final, final answer. answer. That is correct for one point. And uh, stick with you guys or you, uh, your two pointer. So what'd you like to take for that? Directors. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I got burned recently on a director's three, three or four, <laughs> so I'd rather just take that at two. Let's go for that. Oh, give me a second. Directors. All right. Just hold on for All right. We're good. All right. No, we're good. There you go. All right. Both ends. All right. Uh, your two pointer in director. <laughs> this is Spinal Tap. Was the directorial debut of what famous director? Rob Reiner. <laughs> Rob Reiner, final answer. That is correct. He, he didn't say it right, but he, he meant right. <laughs> right. That's what he meant. All right. I just kind of figured. Uh, we're going uh, to German 3 uh, since it's uh, tied up at 28. Uh, you guys have more questions. So what would you like to take for your one-pointer? You guys just want to do uh, comics at one? Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, let's do comics. All right, comic books at one. Comic book movies at one. Holy shit. I don't know if anybody's ever taken a comic movie question. Uh, <laughs> Uh, your one pointer. Who directed X Men: The Last Stand? Um, was that Brian Singer? Was was it Vaughn? Matthew Vaughn? No, no, he did a uh, First Class. Uh, it was Brett Brett Ratner. Ratner. Oh yeah, yeah. Brett Ratner. Yeah, yeah you're right. Brett yeah. Ratner. Final answer. This is why we take it for one. <laughs> <laughs> you can excuse now, us for forgetting Brett Ratner. <laughs> <laughs> well, go. Well, uh, German three taking the lead, uh, twenty nine to twenty eight. Though, so we go back to protect your neck or your three pointer. What'd you like to? Take? All right, fellas. Here's the deal. I don't know how much of my help with horror. Um, yeah, I know so three and fours are close, um, and I feel like all three of us will go recent releases, but I'm going to leave it to y'all. If you are, feel stronger and hard generally. I, no, I, I agree with that because I think even in horror, when you get to four, like I think it's just smart to go with four than we yeah. all collab on. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think we should take four, or horror now as well. Yes, horror now. Yeah. Okay. Horror. Okay. All right, so um, 
Three point question. The category of horror. Uh, what is the name of the fictional town that 1984's Children of the Corn takes place in? Jesus. It's in Nebraska, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. I've heard I've heard it before, uh, but I don't the boring film I've never returned to, yeah. Wow, you looking for anything? Or you want I, to repeat? Maybe. I, uh, repeat the question. All right. Yeah, that's your more. first repeat. Uh, your question again. What is the name of the fictional town that 1984's Children of the Corn takes place in? I got I got another coming at me personally. Uh, it's a wrong movie, but it may be like to throw out something midwitch. It's the name of the city in Village of the Damned, but... <laughs> Yeah, it sounds I mean, like we I don't have anything else. Sure, because like, I'm not, I'm not pulling this right. at all. Yeah, all right. no. Uh, Midwich, final answer. That is incorrect. Uh, we were looking for uh, Gateland. Uh, you were right. It was in Nebraska. Okay. But Gate, Gate that sounds familiar. familiar yeah. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> that doesn't even remind me that much. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, with that, uh, we got some of you guys, uh, and which uh, you have your four pointer remaining, which you have to take in recent releases, and which you have to get to uh, send it back over to the German three, or else uh, they win the game. So, your four pointer in recent releases. In Transformers Rise of the Beasts, the second half of the key is hidden in a temple in what South American country? Peru. Go for it. I have no idea. <laughs> it's yeah, Peru, finally. Right. That is correct for nice. four nice. points. Check your neck. Get their score up to 27. Sending it back over to the German three, who uh, who now have to uh, who have to uh, have their uh, two pointer. Yeah, they're on the two point question. So, uh, just, frankly, yeah. since this one doesn't really matter, do we just want to do crime for this? I mean, it mat could matter, but I think 80s and 90s are our best bets. Yeah, to get that yeah. yeah, let's do crime. Yeah. yeah, crime for two. You got it. Your question. The French Connection follows a detective who is trying to stop criminals who are smuggling what drug? I'm pretty sure it's heroin. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, go uh, ahead. Heroin, final answer. That is correct for two points. Which, uh, you guys are still behind at 26, which means you hit either your three or four point question. The game is yours. So. I mean, we only have to get one and they're technically going to be same level difficulty. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, Mark. Uh, I was done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we can, I mean, it's just a matter of what we feel stronger in. Uh, it, it, again, it's a, it's half of one or half dozen one, six of the other. Yeah. So what do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> a long way around to say that. <laughs> I, th I think, I think eighties is, I think nineties for the three of us is going to be stronger. Yeah. So yeah. I think we should do 80s for three. Yeah, let's do 80s for three. Right. Okay. Okay. 80s for three points. And we're going to fuck it. So let's do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, as a reminder, you have two repeats. And uh, your Don't question. Want to take one away. <laughs> I got it. In Diner, Eddie refuses to marry his girlfriend unless she proves her knowledge in what specific subject. Anybody seen this? Yeah, but is it, is it academic? Boatman? Is it academic? Is it sports? Is it a hobby? I mean, sports seems like uh, it would be good. But... Do, is it worth a repeat? Yeah, let's repeat it. Repeat yeah. one. one. Right, as your second repeat, question again. In diner, Eddie refuses to marry his girlfriend unless she proves her knowledge in what specific subject. Oh man, um, I think Eddie is Richard Dreyfus. I want to say history or automobiles. It's they're not some specific, so yeah. or go whichever one you gut feels, Mike. To history, one. final answer. That is incorrect. Uh, we are looking for football. Mm. Would you have accepted sports? <laughs> I think you know the answer to that question. And it uh, brings us to 
your final question for four points, which you have to take the category in 1990s, uh, which you have to hit to win the game, or else protect your neck. Will will win. I don't know. Like I, I never, I can never lead up to that great. But anyway, you got to hit this question. You don't great, Mark. So do it. Got yeah, one repeat left. Your question. In the People versus Larry Flint, 10-year-old Larry used to bootleg what illegal substance? Do you want to say, like, videos? Like, Five, porn videos? Four. Three. Ten repeat year the old. question. Repeat. Right. That is your final repeat. Your question one more time. In the People versus Larry Flint, ten-year-old Larry used to bootleg what illegal substance? A substance. Um, I mean, the only thing bootlegging I think would think yeah. of alcohol. But it was I don't know, how old at that time. He? Yeah, it was ten. Uh, but I mean, how? What like what yeah. time frame oh, yeah. was that? How old? No, how old is he? Do you want to say alcohol? Four, three. Fuck it. Two. Yeah, six, good. One. Alcohol. Final answer. And your winners protect your neck. Uh, the correct answer was moonshine. I have moonshine. Do we so, want to challenge? Oh yeah, that? let's challenge that. Yeah, yeah challenge they didn't say specific. Did yeah, say they specific? didn't say specific, so we're okay. challenging that. All right, challenge. Yeah. Shit. I'll be right back. <laughs> Is that a challenge? All right. Uh, we are back after uh, that challenge. Um, because of precedent and because of the way the question is worded was worded by us uh, we did not put specifically in the question and uh, moonshine is a high proof uh, a high proof liquor which means it is alcohol which means uh, we ha we ha we got to accept uh, alcohol uh, which means and your winner the german 3 uh, they Pull that one out, but that uh, will take uh, out uh, German three for uh, post match, and we will talk to uh, protect your neck, uh, guys. Uh, yeah, as uh, as it was just kind of re re reiterated to to you uh, earlier, uh, that one is on us a bit. Um, it's just kind of it just, it just happens. It just happens. <laughs> it, it, just, it, it happens sometimes. Otherwise, you guys played a really great match. Uh, you guys uh, took a really good team uh, to the limit here. Um, overall, how do you guys feel you did today? Uh, I, I think we did really good. Uh, it's a bummer that it had to come down to that on the last question because uh, it was a really uh, great game. Uh, but, yeah, I, I feel good about how we played. Uh, I'm glad there's a loser's bracket so we could come back and play another match this season because uh, I think we worked together really well, especially in uh, recent releases. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm a little mad at myself for round one. I feel like I could have either done better or I don't know. Uh, it just happened to seem like a lot of movies that just were in their wheelhouse front to back, uh, which is on me because I got to watch a lot of these other movies. Um, but it did help. The four pointer was a movie I know very well for us <laughs> recent releases. So that helped here. Um, but I was you gave me hope. It's a little hope. I thought we were like, oh, <laughs> shit, we, we, we did this. Eh, but yes, I'm say, very, I, very, very sorry. excited to play with these gentlemen again. So, yeah, it was yeah. definitely a oh shit moment when uh, I heard you announce uh, uh, that we were the winner, and then that the answer was alcohol. I immediately saw where this was going, and uh, it was it was a rough, it was a bit devastating. Not gonna lie, at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I understand why um hashtag justice for protect your neck is currently trending worldwide. <laughs> you know, it's a very contested ending here. Uh, they did play a tremendous game though, so it's not like you know. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. By any yeah. means, but like, damn, it's contested. We want a revenge. We're gonna get in that losers bracket. And Girl. saying that, uh, there is a losers bracket here. It is round robin, so there you guys will play at least one more match. Uh, who are you looking to go against? Uh, were any other teams screwed over, or just? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, remember what the other teams were, honestly. Bring us grumpy old men, Brian, yeah. Tony, and Jeremy Adams. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll take that, 100%. <laughs> All 
Uh, somebody's got to play. Uh, yeah, somebody. We'll see, we, we'll see what you get. We'll see what we can do. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Play really great. And with that, we'll bring in uh, your winners today: uh, the German three, uh, Kirk, Mike, and Matt. Uh, guys, uh, you uh, played really well round one, putting up twenty points. Uh, Kirk uh, getting the perfect round there. Uh, you guys did really well in uh, your uh, in your wheel category, and um, you had a good use of challenges. You found you, you kind of you were able to get get the win off of that. Uh, how um, how do you guys feel? Look, I'll I'll say this: as someone who's been on the tail end of challenges and questions that have not gone their way over and over and over and over <laughs> again with Nazario. It was time for it to go in my fucking favor, finally. <laughs> it sucks for them because I've been on the tail end of that a shitload of times. But, hey, you know, we put up enough points this uh-huh. game that I think we had this win deservingly, even with what happened there. Yeah, I mean, before that final question, um, I'll talk about that first. I think we played great. I, yeah. I, this this went exactly how I thought it would. I think round one, we all were really solid. Round two and three, we really worked really well together and really worked our way through a lot of these questions. Um, so I think that's great. Um, and they played well, too. They played a great game. Um, I mean, they swept their, you know, their, their, their last, two, uh, le- uh, last two rounds, basically. So, um, yeah. And as far as that last question goes, I hate to see it. Like uh, like you said, I've been on the receiving of that too. It sucks, especially with three guys I really like. I hate to see that happen to them. I'm glad they get to play again. I'm going to be rooting for them through the loser, loser's bracket. I would have been rooting for them either way because, other, like I said, I like these guys. And um, I'm a fan of them, so I want to see them succeed. And um, I wish it would have ended the way it did. But like like you said, I think we played you know well enough to, to definitely earn a win. And I hope that they get to see grumpy old men in the loser bracket. And we don't yeah. have to worry about playing them later. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Because you actually, you guys actually will play uh, the winners of either grumpy old men, uh, Tony Durso, uh, Brian Michaels, and Jeremy Adams, or the brethren court, which is comprised of Caleb Coe, Jake Meltzer, and uh, who, yeah, Joe Fairley had ridden okay. down back there. So, uh, all right. Back and I. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they could have grumpy old men. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Or he'll just throw us in there, make it a triple threat trio. <laughs> <laughs> With Mark Solo hosting. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'll be sick that day. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you've earned a day off, you did great tonight. All right. All right. We'll say goodbye to you guys for now. Uh thank you for coming and playing so well. Uh yeah. Um Listen, I've been I've been on the desk for a lot of these calls, and yeah, the, the, it never really gets easier. Whenever you have you have kind of a weird thing happen at the end, especially at a match that went as well as it did. I mean, uh, round one went really great, and nobody missed a question. Round number two, it's exactly the type of match uh, you know I want to be a part of, an exact type of match I want to call. Uh, otherwise, we'll see German three moving on. Uh, they certainly look very good and they seem to work together very well. And I do not, uh, I do not envy the team that has to play uh, protect your neck in uh, the loser bracket. I love saying that name, protect your neck. Uh, but that, that uh, finishes our episode here at a uh, multiplex movie melee. Um, thank you. Thank you to all the players. Uh, thank you to, uh, you guys go fish. Thank you to uh, Dylan Van Thine, Jordan Owens, and uh, Amadou Moses from uh, Protect protecting neck. And our winners today, German 3, Matt Quaylar, Mike Hanley, Kirk Kalikowski. Thank you, everybody here at Multiplex, keeping the show running. And, uh, you know, I was here. But everybody else, please be well. Goodbye. Goodbye.